In this tutorial, you will learn how to import and edit 3D data in Solid Edge. First, click the Solid Edge application button and from the open menu, click Browse. From the list at the bottom of the dialog, select I Just Documents and select the knob.igs file. In the next dialog that appears, select the isometric part template. Then, select the top face of the rib and drag the steering wheel axis in the vertically down direction. Type in 8 as the distance to reduce the thickness of the rib and press Enter. The rib thickness is reduced by 8 millimeters. Note that thickness of all of your other ribs are also modified. Now, start the Smart Dimension command from the ribbon and select the top and bottom edges of the flange at the top. On the floating edit box for the dimension, select the arrow that highlights the top face of the flange. Type in 15 as the new value and observe that the flange increases in thickness on the top side. Next, select the cylindrical face of the flange at the top. Click the diameter and modify the value to 75 millimeters. Now select the round feature on the edges of the knob and select the radius that is displayed. On the floating bar that appears, check the option for all feature faces. Then change the radius to 2 and press enter. Observe the radius for all rounds on the knob changes to 2 millimeters. Next, start the Recognize Holes command. Hover the mouse over each hole group in the list and observe the corresponding holes highlight in the model. Click OK to recognize the holes and observe that the holes are added in the Pathfinder. Select one of the four holes from the Pathfinder and select its diameter from the model. From the command bar, Open the Hole Options dialog. Change the Hole Standard to ISO and Size to 10. Then right-click in an empty space near the model to finish the command. Now start the Recognize Hole Patterns command. Drag around the model to select it, then right-click. Observe the hole pattern is recognized, and also the hole at the center that was not recognized to form a pattern. Click OK. Observe that the hole pattern is added to the Pathfinder. Select the hole pattern in the Pathfinder. Then select the diameter of the pattern and modify it to 175. Press Enter and observe that the overall model size changes as a result of the change in the size of the pattern diameter. Window select one of the ribs and press delete. Observe that the rib is deleted and there are no voids or open faces left behind due to the deletion. Then press Ctrl F keys to switch to the front view. Window select the other three ribs and press Ctrl I to switch to the isometric view. Observe that the remaining ribs are selected and no extra faces are selected. Press Delete to delete the selected ribs. See that there are no voids or open faces left behind due to the deletion of the ribs. This finishes the tutorial for importing and editing 3D data in Solid Edge. In this tutorial you learned how to import foreign 3D data into Solid Edge, how to change various dimensions of imported geometry, how to add dimensions to features of imported geometry and modify the model, how to recognize holes and hole patterns in imported geometry, how to delete features of imported geometry with automatic healing, and how to use the steering wheel to effortlessly modify and move features in imported geometry.